What's up team, welcome back today. We're going to be doing a deep full body stretch. Let's get straight into it. Standing in parallel, feeling really grounded, closing our eyes, feeling all of your toes on the ground, releasing the hands, the shoulders, everything feeling really relaxed. Feel your whole body weighted into the ground and taking a big breath in. As we inhale, we reach up to the sky Interlace your hands and reach up, feel really long. And as we breathe out, coming down into a double hamstring stretch, touching the ground if you can. If you're not on the ground just yet, putting your hands on a chair or a wall and just releasing the neck, nodding the head from right to left. Really start feeling your body, feeling your hamstrings pulled up. Feeling your neck nice and relaxed. Body feeling nice and weighted to the floor. We're gonna put our hands on our elbows and thinking the points of our elbows are driving into the ground and we're just gonna start swaying from right to left. So I focus on your breath, big breath in. And big breath out. One more time, big breath in. Big breath out. <sighs> Hands on the ground and crawling forward, downward dog. Pushing those heels down into the ground, the big breath out. <sighs> Hamstrings parallel to the back, tailbone up to the sky. And we're gonna stay here for four big breaths in, and big breaths out. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Go a little bit deeper. Push all that energy through those heels. Two more times. Breath in. Breath out. Relax into the stretch. Feel your body relaxing into it. All the stress of your day away one more time big breath in and breath out we're gonna hold this for four three two and one crawling back to your legs we're putting our legs in a wider position staying here again hands on a chair or a wall if you're not down on the ground yet and we're just gonna shift our pelvis from our right side and to the left side. If you're flexible enough, you can try place your elbows onto the ground into a little tripod, shifting your weight to the right. Really opening up those hips. You're gonna get a good stretch as you shift your pelvis to the right. You're gonna get more of a stretch in your right side. Coming back to center, shifting your weight to the left. Take note of where you feel this stretch, where you're more tight. What needs stretching more to the right? Back to center and to the left. We're gonna do one more time each side. Big breath in and as you breathe out, right side. Center and left side. Staying where you are and grabbing your right ankle with your left hand and bending your left knee. For an easier version, again, hold onto a chair or a wall. For a harder version, we're bending that left knee even deeper. You can interlace your hand, your right hand behind to grab your wrist here to really pull your left shoulder to your right leg. We're gonna take a big breath in. And as we breathe out, go deeper into that stretch, bend deeper onto that left knee, pull your body, pull your torso closer, your heart towards your shin. One more time, big breath in, big breath out, go as deep as you can. And release, back to center. Make sure everything's relaxed, your neck is relaxed. And we're shifting our pelvis to the right, grabbing our left ankle with our right hand, Bending that right knee. 
Again, if you can, placing our left hand underneath and drawing that right shoulder towards our left foot, heart to shin, taking a big breath in, breath out going deeper, <sighs> big breath in, big breath out going deeper, as deep as we can, <sighs> and relax back to center, trying to reach our hands through our legs now as we take two more big breaths in and breath out thinking you have the top of your head driving into the ground one more time big breath in and out releasing those hands bringing the legs closer together and all we're going to do is grab our fingers around our big toes and we're going to bend those knees knees are going directly over our toes and as we straighten them we're pulling our body again heart to shins head to the ground and our elbows are going directly to the side and release and bend those knees again big breath in bending those knees as much as we can getting a bit of a stretch here behind the feet and the Achilles and and the calves and big breath out and draw our body as much as we can. Good, we're gonna do two more times. And release, bending those knees as much as we can. And release, draw your heart to your shins. And last time. And this time we're going to hold this for four big breaths in. And as we breathe out, use your upper body strength to draw your torso towards your legs. Big breath in. Big breath out. Two more times. And breath out. Think of all of the blood rushing towards your body. Everything relaxed. The upper body is strong, pulling your body. One more big breath in. And breath out. And releasing those arms, bending those knees and slowly rolling up for four. Three, two, one. We're gonna take one more big breath in. Reaching up. Big breath out, doing a side reach now. Go all the way from our right side, all the way up, reaching up. And as we go to our left side, we're thinking of all the energy coming through our right side, the side of our right foot pushing in the ground. So our left hand draws towards the ground here. And we're taking a big breath in. You can place your hand here for a little bit of support if you need. And big breath in big breath out and coming to fifth position using your core strength to come all the way back up and breath out and other side left reaching up and all the way to our right side side of our left foot pushing down into the ground feeling a beautiful stretch in our side reaching all of the energy through here it's an active stretch not just sitting in the stretch where reaching the entire time big breath in big breath out coming to fifth using your core to bring us back in we're going to do one more time a little bit faster big breath in and breath out reach as much as you can reaching to the side think someone's grabbing you from your left side and fifth position and using your core to come back and left is your core to come all the way back up interlacing our hands now and placing them behind our neck and we're going to open up our chest as much as we can so we're getting a beautiful stretch here and we're also going to be arching the back this way taking a big breath in elbows back chest open open your heart up to the sun and as we breathe out 
by closing everything in, chin goes to chest, and we're getting a beautiful stretch in the back of the neck. Coming back to neutral and one more time, elbows back, chest nice and open, arch that back as much as you can. And as you breathe out, contract and chin to chest. Drawing your right ear now to your left side to get a beautiful neck stretch. Making sure both shoulders are pushing down into the ground. I always have a little bend in my knees to make me feel more grounded even though I'm just stretching the left side of my neck. You can use a little port de bras here to pull that shoulder down to the ground. And back to center, other side. Big breath in, big breath out, both shoulders down to the ground. Just like in ballet, we want to constantly think our shoulders are pulling down. <sighs> Holding this for one more time, big breath in, big breath out. <sighs> All right guys, coming down on to the ground now, onto our backs. All right guys, taking a big breath in as we come down onto the ground. And we're reaching our right leg to our left side to release our back, trying to keep that shoulder, right shoulder on the ground. Really drawing our right knee towards that ground to get a beautiful stretch throughout our whole spine. Taking a big breath in. And try to reach that leg further towards the left. Right shoulder further towards the ground. And back to center. As we come back to center, we're going to open those hips up and onto the other side. Really draw this knee as far as you can towards the side while trying to keep that left shoulder, the energy through your left shoulder, pushing into the ground. Taking a big breath in and big breath out as much of a twist as you can. And back to center, opening up those hips. We're gonna stay in center here, we're just opening those knees, really making sure those hips are nice and open. Go on your own time, close your eyes, focus on your breath. We're just gonna do eight more of these, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. And just stay in this butterfly position. Knees, all the energy pushing through those knees on the ground. Really feel your hips opening. One big breath in. And a big breath out. Nice guys, going on to a glute stretch. Putting your right leg over your left and drawing your left leg towards you. You can place your hands underneath your knee or on top if you like. And we're doing four big breaths in and four big breaths out. With every breath out, we're going to go deeper into the stretch, meaning we're pulling our left leg closer towards us to really feel it in that right glute. Big breath in and big breath out. Big breath in. And draw closer. Two more times. Last time. Draw as close as you can towards your body, holding it for four, three, two, one and release onto the other side, releasing those hips in between. Left leg goes over our right. And grabbing that leg and big breath in. And with the breath out, draw that leg closer towards you. Left glute stretch now. Big breath in. Big breath out. Two more times. Breath in. 
breath out, draw it closer. Think of an active stretch. Big breath in, last time. Big breath out, draw as close as you can towards you. I'm gonna hold it for four, three, two, one. Coming into a hip flexor and quad stretch. Now we're gonna place our right leg behind us. If you feel it already here, that is totally okay. If you wanna go for a bit of a harder, deeper stretch, coming back onto your elbows, or coming all the way back onto your back. For the more advanced option, you can lift your knee up to the side. The further your knee is lifting to the side, the more you're gonna feel it. And we're gonna take four big breaths in, four big breaths out. Now to get more of a quad stretch here, we wanna think of hooking the center of our body with this heel. So we're hooking our body in, hooking that heel towards us, and you're gonna feel a really deep stretch all along your right side here. Think of that energy of your right knee drawing towards the ground. And we're taking a big breath in, hooking that center with that right leg. Big breath out. Closing your eyes, focusing on our breath. Big breath in. Two more times. Pushing that knee down into the ground. Big breath in, last time. And holding it for four, three. Go deep as you can to the stretch, two one and releasing that leg onto the other side folding that knee leg underneath us again beginner option staying here this can be equally just as a good stretch if you're here making sure we're hooking our center with that heel or coming back onto your elbows or coming all the way down and bringing the leg up if you're able to and four big breaths in big breath in and big breath out Again, try hook that center. You're gonna feel it. If your art back is arched like this, you're gonna feel it a bit more here. We wanna feel it in our quad as well. So hook your center with that left heel. Big breath in. Big breath out. Last time. As deep as you can the stretch and holding it for four, three, two, one, as deep as you can and releasing that leg. Going on to a pretzel stretch now, which is a little bit hard to get into, but I can promise you it's gonna be worth it. We are placing our right leg over our left and we are grabbing with our right hand, our left foot, and we're coming all the way to the side. So we wanna think we're reaching our body from right to left. And our right knee is going all the way into the, to the ground, pulling right to left. You're feeling your core, you're feeling your lower back. It's such a beautiful stretch. And we're gonna take four big breaths in. And as you breathe out, try pull your body from side to side. And breath out and pull. Breathe in and out and pull going deeper one more time big breath in and try to pull side to side as much as you can and to release other side how good is that stretch <laughs> crossing our left leg over our right grabbing our underneath leg and coming all the way and big breath in Really pulling our body in both directions. And two more times, breath in. Breath out. Really drawing this knee towards the ground. Last time, big breath in. And big breath out, reach, 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 reach as much as you can, guys. And coming back to center. All right, guys, we're gonna do a full roll over into a big bridge here. Not like a glute bridge, so not tucking our body like this. We really wanna arch our back as much as we can. And then we're coming all the way over with the back. So big breath in and all the way over, knees towards the ground.
push the energy with the hands down rolling back with control feet on the ground and pushing up to a bridge you can interlace your hands underneath you to push the energy through the ground and pushing up and big breath out good we're going to do this three more times rolling over energy from the hands knees to the ground rolling back and pushing up holding it holding it holding it squeezing those glutes coming back down two more times and rolling up Moving up, <sighs> making sure our knees aren't flaring out to the sides, staying in parallel. And down last time. <sighs> and driving up. Good, we're gonna hold this for four, three, two one big breath out coming back down we've got one small sequence left to stretches and then we're already done those coming back to standing we're going to reach our right leg behind us into a nice long lunge and we're bringing our left leg a bit out to the side you can turn it out slightly if you want to feel a deeper stretch our hands are coming in front of us scooch that right leg as far back as we can and then just pushing those hips down into a really deep lunge and we're putting the back knee down on the ground. For an easier version of this, you can actually just stay with one hand resting on your left knee. For a deeper stretch, you can try put your elbows all the way down onto the ground. We're gonna hold this for four big breaths in and four big breaths out. Good, two more times. If you want to go a little bit deeper push that back leg a little bit further to the back one more time big breath in breath out holding up for four deeper three two one and release coming on to the other side let's start from standing again and left leg goes to the back Turning that right leg out, just slightly scooching your back leg back. Hands in front of us, big breath in. And big breath out, knee down on the ground and going as deep as we can. Two more times, breath in. Breath out. Going as deep as you can. Last few seconds. Big breath in. Big breath out. Holding it for four, three, two, one. Staying on the ground now. Coming back. Last little sequence. We're going to come back onto our heels, reaching forward as much as we can. And from this position, we're going to come forward to a sphinx position. So we're pushing. The floor away, shoulders come into the ground, head goes up. You can try to lift your hips slightly off the ground if you like, or keep them there, whatever you feel. I'm gonna arch that back. Come back to this position three more times. Big breath in, and pushing the floor away. Arch the spine, and coming back. Big breath in, push the floor away, arch the spine, reaching those hands forward last time, big breath in, get deep with your breath, big breath out, don't be scared to breathe, make some noise and arch the spine, reach forward, 
Let's come back into sphinx position. Let's start from here. Last stretch, guys. Push the floor away. Let your hands go depends on how far you want to come back up. So if you want to just come here, that's totally okay. If you want to go a bit further, bring your hands closer towards your heels. And we're going to hold this for four. Three. Last two. Last one. Slightly lifting those hips off the ground, pushing the floor away. You can hold this for four, three, two, one. Hips back down, coming all the way back. How are we feeling, guys? I hope you enjoyed that deep stretching routine today. See you guys at the next.